Prepare to have your hearts torn out, boys. We're going to the movies. I'm fine, trust me. You don't think you're taking this a bit overboard? Mm, nope. Okay. Okay. High five. So we're at the theatre right now and we're just in line with our e tickets. You can buy tickets online, but I would suggest getting them. Um, yeah, hello, Emma. I'd suggest getting them at the stall so you can get them at the original. Hey, I do YouTube too. Hey, yeah. yeah. Her, hey. her channel is on on my channel, so if you want, go click the side bus. But anyway, they'll have the combos up on screen and everything else. So I'm gonna order a frozen coke and I will see you soon. Yeah, man. Tip for buying food. Don't buy it here. Everything is I'm not allowed to film on movies, but because that's kind of legal. But yeah, we're gonna cry. Yeah, Let's cry. Try. And yeah. I'll get back to you when the movie's finished, and then I'll have like a review at the end of this movie. So if you haven't seen, it, don't watch the end of this movie. Um, but, I mean, oh god. Ah. Okay, so that was The Fault in Our Stars, and I just got back, it's, I don't know what time it is, but people are still awake downstairs, and I am an emotional wreck. That was a really good movie. I'd recommend the, reading the book though, before you go, because I don't think people would get many of the references that are said in the story. If you didn't know, John Green, he's the author, he was actually on set and I can honestly say that this was probably the most accurate book to movie transition I've ever seen. I bet some people will beg to differ with this but um, I really do recommend reading the book, it's lovely. Um, okay, so I'm going to talk about a few moments in the movie. I will try not to spoil it but if you haven't seen the movie, please stop here. I don't want to spoil anything for y'all. So, yeah. Spoiler alert. No. All right, one. The way that they texted in the movie was so unique. It had like little colored in speech bubbles and a lot of quotes from the book. It was amazing and so adorable. Number two, my friend, one of my friends that I just saw this with, she thought Augustus wouldn't be as quirky or smart aleck as he was in the book and they captured it so well even towards the end. It was beautifully done. I really do applaud the actor. And three, there were a lot of puns in there and it's just, oh, it's so beautiful. There was this one point where her mother, 
Hazel's mother is like, oh, your friend's here to see you. And I think me and Ruby, she also has another YouTube channel. So I suggest you check that out if you like singing. We were the only ones that laughed at this pun because the character that came to visit Hazel was blind from cancer. And it <laughs> there was just this guy sitting in the front and he turned to look at us with the most face of confusement that's not even a word but if you know what i mean you know what i mean and so yeah that was the fault in our stars i hope you liked this movie please comment subscribe and like it up if you like it or down but don't do down because i'm already down this was a really sad movie anyway i'm gonna go to sleep now p.s don't wear eyeliner like I did. It may have been a brave thing, but it was a stupid idea. Very, very stupid idea. Not gonna lie. I cried. I said I wasn't gonna cry, and I lost it when his lip quivered. At the river. I was just... Uh... Alright. Scared a cat out. See you guys.